back now, age 16 with Shark Watch on today. This morning, a confounding mystery about these creatures. So where do sharks give birth? It's a good question, mm -hmm. Huda Copy. Uh, in the wild, spotting a shark giving birth, apparently quite rare. But this morning, what may be a breakthrough in understanding where at least one type of shark has its babies. The babies are called pops. NBC's Carrie Sanders joins us now with a closer look at, at the little understood sand tiger shark. Carrie, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. The sand tiger shark, it's found both in the Atlantic and the Pacific, and it can appear scary. It's up to 10 feet long, has gnarly teeth, but they typically do not interact with humans in the water. So we decided to jump in with about 30, and that's where scientists are using this electronic device. Now, what they do is they place it inside a pregnant shark, and then when the baby is born, it pops out and it floats to the surface, and it reveals where a baby shark was just born. And surprise, it is not where scientists thought. We're 15 miles east of Cape Lookout, North Carolina. It was long believed sand tiger sharks gave birth much closer to shore, in shallow waters. But today, our target depth is 60 to 90 feet, where the mystery location for giving birth may now be solved. It's here, during World War II, a German U-boat sank the freighter Carib Sea. Now an artificial reef, it's where we find more than 30 sand tiger sharks circling, some up to 10 feet long. Do they want to eat us? They look terrified, but they don't want to eat us. Arizona State University natural sciences researcher Dr. James Sulukowski is hoping to confirm a theory that some pregnant mother sharks find their way to wrecks like this to gestate their pregnancies and then give birth. You've never seen one give birth, have you? But that's the holy grail of shark science. If we can find that out, then we can protect that area. New evidence that these deep waters harbor a special place for mother sharks begins not with science, but rather with Tanya Hoppermans, an underwater photographer and natural historian. She snapped this photo of a shark she named Claude on a wreck, a newborn where a newborn would not be. Up until that point, current conventional wisdom said that sand tiger sharks are probably giving birth inland, shallow water. But here was a baby shark on a wreck, 100 feet down, offshore. That wasn't expected. And that evidence, the picture itself, caused scientists to say, let's take another look. That and a lot of other evidence that I'd been gathering over the previous years, between observations, photographs, and just things that I'd seen in sand tiger behavior that said maybe the story that is out there right now really isn't what's going on. Tanya's a former mathematician who had made numbers her life. So it was only natural to begin counting sharks and use lasers to measure their sizes. Then she connected with shark expert Sulukowski. What was your reaction when you first heard about this coming from the non-scientific community? My first reaction is, that, let's go check it out, let's go find out if this is actually happening. Together they found a pregnant sand tiger shark, inserted a birth alert tag, and performed an ultrasound. We're looking at a baby shark and mom, teeth, body, everything. It's looking back at you. It's absolutely incredible. The next day, the tag alert. The shark gave birth over a wreck. Now we have to find out how true it really is. Did we get lucky? Was it by chance? We have to go through the scientific method to really prove that these sand tiger sharks are using these wrecks as sort of a nursery area for their baby sharks. Scientists believe sand tigers, like other species of sharks, are in decline. These sharks with two uteruses only give birth to one pup per womb, possibly every few years. Why do we care about the sharks? One other surprise, scientists thought that sand tiger sharks gave birth in spring, but this device signaled a birth in December. So clearly so much more to learn. Guys, God, wow, so many questions. Yeah. Thank you for finding a pregnant tiger shark too. Yeah.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.